what's up everybody welcome back to the channel i'm simon sabro and today i got a manga haul video for y'all we got a couple of things from barnes and noble a couple of things from amazon and a little bit of stuff from the reddit group r slash manga swap so let's just get right into it all right so first we're gonna start with the what we got from amazon and honestly i have I don't even remember what I bought, to be honest with you, but, okay. So, first manga we got is Volume 1 of Blood on the Tracks by Shuzo Oshimi. And if you watched my manga collection video, link in the description below, um, Shuzo Oshimi is probably one of my favorite mangaka because not only is his art really nice for the, um, the types of stories that he tells, but the way he just mixes slice of life with thriller is done in such a unique way and it's pretty good honestly i don't know too much about blood on the tracks but off of just happiness and the flowers of evil he uh i got a lot of respect for the guy um but next manga we got is volumes two volume three of imperfect girl which is the story is written by nishio ishin which is the same person that wrote the monogatari series and i honestly haven't even read any i haven't read the first volume yet it's right here on my shelf but i haven't read it yet but what really attracted me to this manga was not only the covers but the art in here is really good and the artist is Mitsuru Hattori and I'm not sure if they really did anything else but the art they did in this book is really nice and unfortunately I don't know anything about the story to really you know recommend it or anything but just from the art and the covers alone I'll show you how to cover of volume one and really yeah just off of the art and the covers alone is what really drove me to buy this manga and I'm hoping it's pretty good. I really got a, some pretty high expectations for this manga. But that's all for the Amazon stuff. So let's just get into uh, the Barnes and Noble books next. So the first manga we got from Barnes and Noble is Kiru to Kill Me. And this manga, it seems like it's a comedy. It's about a guy who falls in love. Like he has everything you could ever want. And he falls in love. And the person he fell in love with is an assassin and in order for him to meet with the person he loves again he puts on like a hit for himself so that the assassin would come after him and it seems like it could be pretty funny um i don't know too much about this nor the mangaka but it seems just off of the plot it does seem pretty funny and i'm kind of excited to see where it'll go honestly doesn't seem too bad at all. So the next manga we got is Burn the Witch by Kubo Tight. And once again, if you saw my uh, manga collection video, you know that Kubo is one of my favorite mangaka. But this manga actually, it has an anime adaptation already, which is on Crunchyroll. I believe it's three or four episodes. And it's I really like this adaptation or the way they did this because it has a slip cover on it and you can see the manga after you take it off and the manga cover itself looks really nice and burn the witch i've watched the anime for it and i really did enjoy it and it's by kubo of course so the art it's, it's kubo's art you know whether you love it or hate it i like it and i think this was a really good manga by him it, I want to say it was maybe like three or four chapters and I really like this manga. It's, I'd recommend checking it out definitely or at least just uh, checking out the anime for it. Either one it's pretty good still. So the next manga we got from Barnes & Noble is Asadora Volumes 3 and Volume 4 and it's the newest work by Naoki Urasawa which is the good, same guy who made Monster, 20th Century Boys, Pluto and so far i've only read the first two volumes of course and so far i kind of like the story it's at a very interesting it's, it's definitely different because it feels 
supernatural and that's not really something Urasawa does so it's I'm kind of interested in how it goes but I do like the characters for it so far but it's it seems Urasawa's works are very slow paced and with only four volumes for it so far um it's kind of hard to tell where the story is going exactly and like i said i've only read the first two volumes so just off of that i can't really tell what's going to be happening next or like what's the story about in general next manga we got is gigant volume six which is by hiroya oku and if you've read anything by hiroya oku it's definitely not for people under the age of 18 and this is definitely no exception at all i've read the first five volumes um i enjoy it. it's not really a good series but i enjoy reading it and it's really as you'd expect from hiroya oku the art in here is just like his other works and it's kind of hard to recommend this series or really any of Hiroya Oku's works and if you're not familiar with the name he's the same person who made Gantz and Inuyashiki but um yeah it's kind of hard to recommend it because it's a sci-fi manga and it's really like basically some uh there's like a website or whatever that tells you about or it has a poll my bad and whatever the people vote on and gets the highest votes will actually come true like there's an example like a celebrity will run around naked and everyone voted on it so the celebrity actually does run around naked and it's pretty weird definitely pretty weird but something about it is still very enjoyable despite how weird and awkward the series is and the main character is a boy who falls in love with a adult actor or adult actress to say the least and this actress has the ability to become a giant and is the story is really all over the place i'll be honest with you but it's it's kind of worth giving a shot i'd recommend his other works ganton and yashiki before i recommend this definitely but if you are a fan of the other two works by Hiroya Oku, this one, you you might enjoy it. No, I can't promise, but <laughs> you might enjoy it. But let's get on to the last manga from Barnes & Noble. So the last manga from Barnes & Noble is H.P. Lovecraft's At the Mad uh, Mountains of Madness. And this is just a manga adaptation of it. If for whatever reason you don't know who H.P. Lovecraft is, he's a... Uh, he writes regular books like uh, novels and they're always horror based similar to like R.L. Stein or uh, Stephen King, the person who made it. And this is, yeah, it's just a manga adaptation of it. it the art in here looks pretty nice. Um, I'm a huge fan of Lovecraft and really horror manga in general, not more manga, but anything horror i'm a huge fan of and i just had to give it a i had to check it out and the art in there is clean this book feels really clean i'm not even gonna lie to y'all something about this book feels nice it is by uh published by dark horse and dark horse they, they kind of their releases are either hit or miss with the uh, page and book quality like for instance, the Gantz Omnibus, they're not that good quality, but something like this is really nice quality. And if you're a fan of horror, even though I haven't read it yet, I'd still recommend checking it out. Um, it has two volumes. I gotta get the second volume, but uh, yeah, I recommend checking it out, even though I have yet to read it. Uh, I've heard pretty good things about it. So I look forward to reading this one and let's next get into the stuff from reddit so the last things we got is from a little bit of right stuff and a little bit from reddit r slash manga swap i'm gonna leave both of the links in the description below and 
this series was actually out of print for a good while but really on right stuff it just restocked all of it but a couple of the volumes are still kind of out of stock here and there but that series is i am a hero and i managed to pick up the complete series volumes one all the way to 11 so volume two here and i've it's a zombie story as you could probably tell and it's about this guy whose name is hideo and he is one of the few people in japan that has a gun license during this uh zombie apocalypse and because he has a gun license he also owns a gun of course and because of that he is a very valuable person because that's how you know they want to beat the zombies and whatnot and but he even though things are out of control he still tries to like uplift the or maintain the law that he's not gonna just shoot his gun just to shoot it because that's against the law as well as he won't let other people shoot the gun because they don't have a permit and it's a really i've read a couple a little bit of it so far and it's a very interesting story and watching the main character hideo grow as a person throughout the story and make a lot of decisions that are very realistic in the situation he's in despite you know of course the book not being real or you know and just watching that go down and unfold is very interesting the really not even just his character alone but a lot of the main characters just watching them grow and watching the whole world within this book just change it's very interesting and whether or not you're a fan of zombie manga or not i'd still recommend it because it's a very good horror manga and it's you can't go wrong with it really everybody knows it the way that kengo hanazawa does the art in this book is very like a movie the way he draws the characters and draws the movement along with the panels it's it feels like you're watching a movie the way it's done um for example right here um the main character is just doing some weird stuff <laughs> but the way it's done feels very much like as if you were watching a movie and here's a better example this scene where someone gets hit by a car just the way that the panels go and the way it flows is very like i said like a movie and he really uses the colors black and white for a manga very well and i've never really seen anything like it before the way that he just does it honestly and unfortunately none of his other works are translated to english as far as i know at least but i'm a hero like i said whether you're into zombie manga or not whether you're into a horror and thriller or not i definitely recommend this manga that's all the manga i picked up let me know how i feel down in the comments below leave a like if you enjoyed hit the subscribe to see more and check out my manga collection video and once again leave a comment down if like you got any manga recommendations or whatever but this is Simon Sabro signing out. I'll catch you on the next one.